Every day, leadership in IT departments around the globe are put in positions to make strategic technology decisions that will move their business forward and allow them to do more with less, all while operating under tighter security and cost management constraints. So it begs the question, how? How do you make those decisions? You can't possibly know everything about everything, be on top of every new piece of technology across the entire spectrum and how each of them will interop with your environment and help you reach your business goals. You need vendors, you need partners, you need trusted advisors, communities, and the work of objective analysts whose job it actually is to know and evaluate all of these things, all in order to help you evaluate the available solutions out there and narrow down your choices to those that will actually be beneficial to you. Now, recently, it was announced that NetApp achieved a pretty big milestone that I am really proud of us accomplishing, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. But the real reason I'm making a full standalone video is because of the real impact it can have on a customer's decision-making process that I think everyone needs to understand. In order to drive that home, you first need to understand what is unique about the GigaOM radar and why it is such a big deal that NetApp achieved top ranking in the big three categories. Shout out to Enrico and Max for their fantastic work in establishing this modern guidance system for customers. It truly takes the best parts into account. Back in February of 2020, GigaOM launched the radar, throwing out a lot of the old ways of thinking. Arbitrary things like market share percentages and revenue numbers gathered by researchers are all left on the cutting room floor, not even considered in the evaluation and further recommendation of any product or solution. They might reflect a particular vendor's success in the market in the past. That doesn't necessarily imply how useful a product or solution might be to you going forward. This is one of the biggest differentiators that I personally see in how the radar evaluates and positions vendors and products as opposed to that old way of doing quadrants. In addition, it gives additional indicators like the arrows that illustrate speed and heading direction for a particular solution being evaluated. This gives you a 12 to 18 month view into the future and how they predict things to shake out, rather than looking at past success to guide modern forward ways of thinking. Okay, now that you've got an understanding of what makes Radar unique, let's talk about the recent findings in their report titled Data Storage for the Hybrid Multi-Cloud Era. I'll leave a link to the full report in the description below as it goes extremely in-depth, and you'll want to read it if you're evaluating any of the following solution categories. As noted in the report 10 years ago, there was a big focus on shared storage as a vehicle to support hybrid workloads, but that was mostly around virtualization. I personally lived through that era running a data center, and I can attest that support for NFS, SMB, and block storage all in a single platform was the sole reason I chose NetApp when I was a customer over all of the other competitors we evaluated. But today, the requirements have shifted. There needs to be further unification across on-prem and cloud, DevOps and infrastructure, each with their own unique environments, creating a layered platform for admins and users alike to access, manage, protect data, regardless of the location. In order to facilitate that in the best way possible, the platform needs to be a single unified space that shares control facilities regardless of location. In this world, ONTAP continues to be the gift that keeps on giving. You see, 20 years ago, NetApp led the industry by introducing unified block and file storage. And over the last 10 years, we've adopted an ONTAP everywhere mantra and led the charge of overhauling our business into one that naturally benefits customers pursuing a hybrid model across clouds and on-prem. Now, as stated correctly in the GigaOM report, we've been building our portfolio with a next generation hybrid multi-cloud unified storage approach. And the beauty of this approach is that the foundation of it all is on tap, our rock solid number one storage operating system that <laughs> it just continues to show its true power day after day and year after year. So let's take a look at the three radars themselves and how they stack up. Last September, GigaOM released their 2021 look at cloud file storage, praising NetApp's leadership position with outstanding execution of a coherent multi-cloud strategy. Now personally, I've only got one thing to say. Hashtag NAS for life. And if you know, you know. If you don't, it's one of my old calling cards. It's fine. File storage is more important now than it ever has been as companies race to the cloud. It will provide the path of least resistance and still deliver the performance and reliability requirements necessary to run the biggest workloads. You couple that with NFS 4.1 and SMB3 support, there's literally nothing you can't do at this point. It, come on. Let's be serious with one another for a moment. You're, you're sick and tired of managing those LUNs and QDEPs, aren't you? Come towards the light. It's safe and it's a lot of fun over here, I promise. Next up, we've got the radar for enterprise scale-out file systems, where NetApp took the top position again. I mean, it's on tap. 
you're just simply not going to touch ONTAP. And we continue to innovate, driving new features into the platform to strengthen and secure it. If there's any mic drop moment for ONTAP, it came recently as the NSA announced that ONTAP was the first ever file system to receive their validation for encryption and security. I don't really know what more needs to be said. Don't worry, I've got plenty to say, but let, let's save that for a full ONTAP video that I've got in the queue for you guys coming soon. All right, just, just wait. Lastly, we've got the 2021 radar covering primary storage for large enterprises. This is the big one. At the end of the day, this is NetApp's bread and butter. Companies choose NetApp not only for ONTAP, but for the rich suite of software that surrounds and enables it to interact with all major tier one applications. And just a few short years ago, they, they said ONTAP couldn't run an all flash system. <laughs> We were happy to prove them wrong. In fact, it not only runs it, but it runs circles around the competition. And with the advent of clustered on tap, now we're able to operate native tiers of storage within the same cluster. And to Giga Ohm's point, we're even adding QLC-based high-capacity flash systems to help with costs. 15 terabyte drives in a 2U 24 drive shelf that gives you 300 terabytes of effective capacity in a tiny 2U footprint. Not to mention our innovation around NVMe over TCP, allowing you to take advantage of new technology on existing Ethernet infrastructure. And as soon as that becomes mainstream adopted in the cloud, well, <laughs> You can see where this goes. Look, I've rattled on long enough, but you get the picture. I wanted to send out a heartfelt congratulations to all of the teams at NetApp that have all been pivotal in us getting to this position in a relatively short period of time. I also want to thank all of our customers that have trusted us to be their partners, both on-prem and in the cloud. If you were one of those that haven't heard of NetApp yet, don't worry, I've got you covered. Make sure you're subscribed right here to the channel and check out some of the other videos that I've got here for you. Plus, I got a lot of videos on the way this year, so you're going to want to make sure you got your notifications on. We're going to configure some systems. We're going to go over the back backup and recovery landscape. We're going to move some data back and forth to the cloud. I want to show you what these systems and software are truly capable of over the course of this year. Now, if you like this video, make sure you leave a like. It really does help. And let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions. You can also come and join the official NetApp Discord community where we have a ton of staff, engineers, and experts ready to help and answer any questions you may have. I'll leave all the links down in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.